Welcome. Here are 10 objects in topology, all rendered in high resolution. We start with spheres. A special sphere is the three-dimensional sphere. We see here an animation of the three sphere projected from four dimensions into three dimensions. The curves on the tori form what one calls the Hopf vibration, comes from a particular parameterization of the sphere. The computer graphics of this type has been done first by Tom Banshoff in 1990, who suggested and realized pictures of the three sphere like this, by rotating and visualizing this tori. The torus is special also because it's like Euclidean space, completely flat and uh, orientable and because it carries a nice arithmetic, the addition. Here we have glued a Google map onto the torus. It is a fourfold copy of a neighborhood of Harvard so that everything is continuous. We see the Charles River as a closed contractible curve circling the business school. Harvard College is located near the inner rim. Most prominent is the Harvard Stadium, which you see now. And uh, now you see the JFK Bridge and Elliott House coming up. Four-dimensional space is the most interesting one for there are six regular platonic solids. In three dimensions, there are only five. In higher dimensions, there will be only three. So here we see the animation. It is again using the stereographic projection to visualize it. The color is the fourth dimension. We rotate the solid in 4D then project. Calabi-Yau surfaces are important in complex differential geometry. They are also prominent in string theory. They are examples of so-called Kähler manifolds, objects for which complex Riemannian and symplectic structures coexist in a compatible way. It's a grid version uh, which I have done while work and working with Liz Slavkovsky on 3D printing in the classroom. It was 2012-2013. You want to be able to print the surface and to make it thick. The Möbius strip is a famous object which appeared already in the Roman art. So here's the picture done in Mathematica and turned around. The triangulization is actually the triangulization which the software uses when making the graphics a certain level. Usually one does not want to see such discrete structures. <laughs> Gluing two Möbius strips together produces a Klein bottle. It cannot be embedded in three space without self-intersection, but it's a closed surface. It admits still a flat metric obtained by identifying points on the boundary of a square. Here we see the surface embedded in three space, rotated around. So the triangulization again comes from an explicit parameterization of the surface. One can cut up the Klein bottle along a closed curve to get two Möbius strips, like the torus, the Euler characteristic is zero. Space filling curves have been constructed already by Peano and by Hilbert. They define in the limit an explicit continuous map from the interval to the three-dimensional cube. We have a curve defined recursively as a so-called L system. If we see the third iteration of this construction, the next level would be to use eight such cubes to build up a larger cube of twice the size. In this case, the curve is a polygon with 4096 segments. The counter middle third set, a compact topological space which is completely disconnected. In 3D one can draw in such a way that the complement is complicated. The construction is recursive, start with the torus, then use 
10 tori to build a circular chain. Now each of these chain parts is made again into a chain itself using 10 tori so that we have 100 tori after two refinement iterations. That's what we see here. We see this 100 disconnected components which do not touch. Every hole produces a generator of the fundamental group and stays also in the limit. The fundamental group therefore has infinitely many generators. The set is still compact and over dense and so homeomorphic to the counter set. Knots are interesting in topology. They are circles embedded in three-dimensional space. One would like to know invariants which make sure that the knot is non-trivial. Here we see a visualization of a torus knot. It's a 4-5 knot. It's thickened to make it look nice, but it has just a closed curve originally drawn on a donut. The complement of such a knot is the three in the three sphere produces interesting examples of manifolds. The fundamental group of the complement of the torus knot is here a non-abelian finitely generated group with two generators x and y, such that x to the 4 is y to the 5. We can approximate topological spaces with networks are finite simple graphs. Discrete manifolds are special cases. In order to go from the discrete to the continuum, look at the structure of all complete subgraphs, here in this case only triangles, edges or vertices, and use this to build a geometric realization. So here we see a particular projective plane. It's a two-sphere in which opposite points are identified. And this network has 85 vertices, 252 edges and 168 triangles. That's it. Here are some acknowledgements. I should mention especially the pioneering book of Tom Banchoff from 1990 in which computer graphics of higher dimensional space like the three sphere has first been shown. This is the end.